So we are here at the new frog exhibit at the American Museum of Natural History and there is so much here to see, so much to learn about and we are going to learn a lot about frogs today. So tell us why, first of all, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Hazel Davis, I'm the Associate Director of Living Exhibits at the American Museum of Natural History. And what are we looking at right now? Okay, in the middle of the exhibit is the poison dart frog uh, terrarium. And in this terrarium there are 92 frogs in total. And there are 10 different species, that's different kinds of frogs. Uh, that you can see. Uh, blue ones. Blue ones, blue ones, and you can see there now the bumblebee frogs oh, that you're looking at with the black bees. and yellow. Oh, one of my favorites. And you can even see some of them. These are full grown adult frogs, but they're really quite tiny. And in the wild, all of these species will be toxic. Um, they secrete a toxin from their skin, and that's a way of protecting themselves. That's why they're mostly brightly colored, and they're active during the day. So they can be out and about feeding, and they're not worried about predators. In captivity, though, all of these frogs were raised um, in the U.S. by breeders, and some of them we raised ourselves. And we don't feed them the same food as they eat in the wild. In the wild, they would eat ants and beetles, and that's where they get their toxins from. But in captivity, we feed them um, crickets and fruit flies, and so they're not toxic, and if we need to handle them, we can. But they look exactly the same as they would in the wild. And what do you think kids will walk away with, you know, coming to this exhibit, seeing the live frogs? You know, I mean, what, what do you think they'll learn? They'll learn so many different things. We have an amazing uh, diversity of frogs here from places all around the world. Um, oh wow, look at this one. They don't even <laughs> look real. They look right. like, like they look they, like figurines. They look like plastic toys that we put in here. They this, really do. This one is the, is the golden poison frog. Um, and this is the most toxic animal in the world. Oh my gosh. It's coming right for it's us. It's coming right for you, so look out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there's, there's lots to see here. I mean, you can see how different frogs are. They're not all sort of dull green and browns. Some are very brightly colored. We have blue frogs, we have red frogs, the tomato frogs are quite amazing. They're all different sizes. You can find out about all the different habitats that they live in. Um, they don't just live around ponds. A lot of frogs don't even use a pond. Uh, they can live in quite dry conditions and they're adapted to be able to do that. So it's quite amazing. You can see frogs that do live entirely in water and frogs that live in trees. And all these panels over here where, you know, these basically all will show you, you know, you'll learn all different things about. You'll learn about. a lot of different things about frogs. You'll learn about how they evolve, how they uh, are adapted to their habitats, their lifestyles. Um, you'll also learn about the different kinds of foods they eat, how they reproduce. And even oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. That's interesting. Meaning. <laughs> I guess everybody has to do it. That's exactly. interesting to learn to see how it's happened in the wild. Exactly. Uh, and you'll learn lots of kind of different uh, things about how frogs protect themselves in the wild. And right now you can hear the soundtrack going, so you can find out all about different frog calls. They uh, they sound many frogs sound very very different from each other. Wow, and there's just so much to learn, right? It's not just this one-dimensional creepy. There, there's frog without, like you said, frog without, frog a, without pond. a pond. Exactly. Not all frogs are tied to ponds. Uh, they find ways to reproduce even in quite dry areas. Some frogs could go into a, a very dormant hibernation state, and they can last for a long time without any rains. Wow. And I see there are some kiosks over here. There some... are all different kinds of kiosks. And um, it's cold. So this one you can find out all about how they reproduce. This shows their different nurseries. You can light them up. Leopard frogs. And it tells you about them. North American you can see this frog here with eggs on its back. It's protecting its eggs by carrying them with it. Oh wow, look at that, huh? Eggs on its back. Also, in this way you can touch screen. And you can press the buttons and you can learn more about these nine frogs on here. That's wonderful. And what about this one? This leap frog. This looks interesting. If you have to look through, through like right, and right. spin it, you can see. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, that's so cool! What does it show? It's a, a frog jumping. If you come over here, you can look, look through the veins and just see it. Yeah, you, could, you can watch. Look at that. See it? Isn't that so cool? It's like a cartoon. 
Wow. Leapfrog, I love that. These are great for kids. It's so engaging. Oh. Another kiosk around here that I can show you. This is the chorus. If I press any of these, you'll hear the sounds and uh, you can tell how some frogs they sound quite deep. They have a deep booming call and some are quite high pitched. What you can hear in the background right now, that's live. That's the frogs that you were just looking at in the Poison Dark Frog terrarium. They're, they'll, they'll sing all day long. I never knew that they sang frogs. See, look it's what you learned. Males can sing. Only the males can sing. This is the biggest frog that we have oh in here. This is the African bullfrog. Oh, he's a cutie. And this isn't even a big African bullfrog. This is a relatively small African bullfrog. They can be at, much bigger than this. Look at his eyes. So serious. The eyes are really quite interesting. Sitting on the top of their head there, they use their eyes to help them swallow food. So when they get something into their mouth, their eyes kind of pop down and it helps push the food down into their stomach. So when you see them grab something, their eyes kind of like pop in. That's incredible. Look at all you can learn about frogs here. Just... Mm -hmm. Bean green eating machine, these yeah. African bullfrogs. These guys, they don't tend to move around a lot. They tend to sit and wait for food to come past and then grab it. But they, they have a pretty this voracious guy. appetite. Are you a voracious little guy? See, do, do, do you name him anything? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Just the African bullfrog. <laughs> it's the African bullfrog. Oh, exactly. and catching food, so there's more. Oh, yes, look, so and look Jackson, you're really getting into this. This oh, you and Maddie are really getting a into this. Dissection. Oh, <gasps> a virtual dissection. Oh, my God. Oh wow, look at this. <gasps> Take this. Does wow. Patty do it? What do you when you is it are you touching this? Are you doing that or is it just happening? You're no you're you're doing it with the thing and you do the cutting. Oh god, oh god. Find out about it. Wow, this is so interactive. Oh, well let's see what god. let's see what's inside. Wow. Oh it's organs. Maddie, I think that we found something that you like. You see, the museum is not boring at all. Right, Maddie? Right. That's right. You sing it, sister. Oh, wow, and here's a frog frame. Oh, this is so interesting. Look at this, Robert. This is a skeleton a of a skeleton. Goliath frog. Wow. 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 It's, it's possible that this frog may now be extinct. Wow. But it might be extinct. Yeah, and you can see, this is how far a goliath thro frog can jump in one jump, up to 10 feet. You see the huge back legs, you see how they're really made for springing Mommy, forward. Daddy, look. Look, look, Daddy, look, Daddy, look, Daddy, look, Daddy, look, all the parts of, wait a minute. Oh, we missed the You took all the, all the parts of the body out. Okay. This is definitely a, uh, if you come to the frog exhibit, come to the frog guts. <laughs> Very interesting name before. <laughs> And oh, and then there's a, this uh, show that. Um, a video you can sit and watch which shows you frogs in action. Oh, wow. You really have everything here. There's something for everyone. If you want to just sit and actually watch, mm -hmm. that's great. Oh, I love that. For kids that need their screen time, you've got screen time here. This is really great. Wow, it's such up close stuff. And then more about these frogs, the giant monkey Wait, frogs. These are great. These are actually live in trees. These are a type of frog that don't really live with a pond so much. And they cover their bodies in wax to stop themselves from drying out, from dehydrating. You can learn so many. Who knew that frogs and could do this? And he's asleep right now. If you look, it looks like his eyes are kind of open because they don't really close their outer eyes. But he has an inner membrane that comes over. So his eyes look a little foggy. And that's because the inner membrane is down over them. He's having a little sleep. Wow. And the habitats are so beautiful. Are nocturnal, so they, they may be resting when you come in during the day, but they will be resting out where you can see them. And quite often, a lot of them are still moving around. And particularly the poison dart frogs, they're diurnal. They're up during the day, so you will see them being very active. And those, those are the colorful ones yeah. are really, I mean, there's just so many wonderful things here. Oh, and then, Wow, here's a, the African, okay, where is he? African club, they're down on the bottom at the oh, moment. Oh, wow, look so at that. So they blend in really well with the pebbles. These and really, I thought these were pebbles. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there he is. You and see? they can actually stay underwater for quite a long time, but you will see them. They'll pop up and take a breath, and they'll go back down again. So many, there's, you, they, you truly have all the species here. You've got every single, who, who knew that there were so many different types of frogs?
thin skin, more stuff, and then we've got another one. This is the white lipped tree frog. Oh, there he is! Oh, wow. oh, I love his um. What are those called? Those uh. The, the, his little toes? Yes, toe yes. Look at those toe pads, right? Yeah. yeah. And you see his big webbed feet in the back. So, they don't, he doesn't even look real. Uh, and the, is he sleeping right now, too? Uh, he's awake. Oh, he's awake. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right there. Right, right. There's no this membrane. One, this oh. one on the glass is asleep, and the one on the back is awake. Oh, oh here's, I don't even see this guy. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Yeah. You can see his toe pads really well here. Wow. Is he asleep? Yeah. Oh, look at he's sleeping suspended in air. The frog is sleeping suspended in air. The frog is sleeping suspended in air. That oh, and look at look at you can see underneath his body. Look, you can see his look at look at that. Oh wow. That's kind of freaky. Guys, what do you think? This is really cool. Okay. Really cool. Yeah. Jeff, well, you thank you so much for this wonderful tour, and I really think everybody should come oh, swimming, 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 swimming. to the oh, swimming. Oh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, can we get? Oh, can, I just missed him swimming. All right, we'll get you next time. But thank you very much for this wonderful tour, and everyone come to the American Museum of Natural History to see this frog exhibit. It's opened until January 2005. January 5th. Thank you so. so